Hello everybody, it's Matt McDonald here. I'm here with the One Touch Idol 3. This is brand new released Octacore phone. Um, I've had it for a day, charged it up last night. Um, <clears throat> just doing some benchmarks on it. So I'm here to just quickly do a benchmark of the of the phone, give you an idea of what it, how it performs. I'll do three benchmarks. I'll do and Tutu, I'll do uh, Geekbench, and I'll do 3D Mark. So I'll start off by Geekbench with Geekbench. Now while this is going, just to give you a, a rundown of this phone, the phone uh, is a octa-core phone, has the Snapdragon 615 64-bit processor, has two gigabytes of RAM and 16 gigs of storage. It runs on Android 5.0 Lollipop. The phone's a 5.5 inch full HD screen. Um, so it's quite large. It's, it's actually very thin. It uses good, good, has really thin bezels too, so it's not like a massive phone. Um, it has a 13 megapixel rear camera and a 8 megapixel front facing camera. So if you're doing those HD video conferences, this is the phone for you. Um, <clears throat> the phone has all on screen buttons, it has a volume rocker, and then it has just an unlock wake button. Um, the phone is $250 now on Amazon, but I was lucky enough to purchase mine with a pre-order, so I got it for $199, so I got a, a great deal on it. Um, yeah, other than that, I mean, I'll get right to the benchmarking. The phone the phone runs on, this so is unlocked for GSM carriers, it runs on 4G LTE, um, for AT&T or for T-Mobile. Um, it also gets 3G HSPA plus for T-Mobile or uh, AT&T, so it's unlocked for GSM carriers. So if you have Sprint or you have Verizon, this phone's probably not the phone for you. All right, so it scores 668 single core and a 240, 2483 multi core. So take that for what's worth. I don't know if that's important to you or not. Let's go next to 3D Mark. Now this test takes a while and plays a video, quite a long video, but the video is good to watch. So we'll get straight into it. Let's let this baby focus. Let's see if I can get my camera to focus. Uh, my little girl just walked in here, so I'm gonna set the phone down for a second. Just to give you an idea, it's uh It's consistently getting about 24 frames a second right now. Okay. Okay, come on. Okay. So right now we're at 25 frames a second, 26. Now we're down to 13 and a half. This is a scene that was so interesting. Back up to 17, 22. Nah. Nah. Okay, 
Okay, it's going to do one more, two more tests and it'll be done. It's a silent test and it's about 27 frames per second, which is okay. Now we're about 16 frames a second on this video, down to 5. It's okay. It's about 23 on this test. Okay, and there you go. It scored a 54.78. Um, you can see the physics scores. There you go. Um, so at this time, I'm gonna forego the N22, and I'll I'll do that in a separate video. Thanks for your time. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll do the N22 on a separate video.